Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 7 of M class. I'm Jack. M class takes you from beginner to expert. Today we're talking about smart contracts. They are not smart agreements, but programs running on a blockchain where business rules are hard coded and executed collectively by all network nodes. Their key value lies in three points automatic execution, verifiability, and resistance to tampering. By understanding the contract account model, ABI interfaces, event logs, and the concept of a state machine, you'll understand how on-chain applications operate reliably in a decentralized environment, and you'll know which areas require special attention regarding security boundaries. First, the state machine and account model, Ethereum, treats a contract as a persistent state machine. External accounts initiate transactions that trigger state transitions and gas limits ensure fair resource usage. Second, the ABI interface and event logs. The ABI defines how external callers invoke contract functions and pass parameters. Event logs record key actions into on-chain indexed data, making them easy for front ends and analytics tools to read Third, trusted execution and security boundaries. Consensus ensures that every node gets the same result from the same inputs, but contracts can still be attacked due to permission issues, re-entrancy, or overflows. That's why coding standards and audits are essential. A verifiable on-chain state machine means every state change is traceable. ABI exposes interfaces means that anyone following the same standard can interact with the contract, enabling openness and composability executed by consensus, guarantees that different nodes executing the same code produce identical results. Strict security boundaries reminds us that decentralization does not mean no risk. Permissions, upgradability, and external calls are common danger zones. Master these four layers, and you've captured the engineering essence of smart contracts. Connect the execution path. External accounts call contract functions through the ABI. The contract modifies internal state within gas limits. Events write key fields to logs for front-end subscription. All nodes recompute the same result under consensus. If permissions aren't validated or external calls allow re-entrancy, Attackers may exploit vulnerabilities. Therefore, smart contract development must follow the principles of least privilege, correct execution order, upgrade constraints, and use audits and bug bounties to reinforce security over time. Today, we broke down how smart contracts turn Thruster rules into verifiable, automatically executed logic, from state machines to ABI, logs, and security boundaries. I'm Jack, and this is M Class taking you from beginner to expert. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session. Next lesson preview, miners and nodes, the hidden roles behind crypto networks, where I'll explain node types, block production, network propagation, and give you a practical checklist for observing live on-chain activity. This is M Class. Here are the 100 blockchain questions you care about most. See you next time.